tonight, in honor of the 100th episode of American Dad, tragedy will strike Langley Falls with death. 100 times. That's right. 100 of the characters you've come to know and love will die. <laughs> Pete's sakes, these things are gonna kill me. <laughs> but not tonight. No, tonight we're gonna find out who shot Mr. Burns. What? 15 years ago? Who was it? Really? The baby? <sighs> I want a baby. I'll send for my things. You can't just leave. Stan, you don't control me anymore. I'm gonna live my life and you can't stop me. I'm going too. I'm a non-writing producer, which means I get paid to do nothing. I might even be a hindrance. I'm calling everyone to tell them Sweeps is coming to town. I'm gonna get off the plane and go right to Dana Plato's grave. I owe it to her. I killed her. Francine, you're not actually taking the job in Portland. Think about your family. Francine Smith spent her whole life thinking about her family. And what did it do for her? Nada. Francine, listen to me. Wait, you throwing that away? This would make a perfect cape. I am the tender vigilante. This city's in pain, and it needs my tender justice. Oh my god, it's working! What you need is a vegetarian purge. One day a year when you go crazy on meat. No, that violates all the principle. Think it over. I'll be in your bath. I'm not actually gonna clean myself. I just like to sit on the drain while it empties. Now you share something crazy about you. Wow, you really like that fudge. <laughs> you tap dance too. Wow, Sarah, how many hobbies do you have? Five. Whoa. Five. Pete, you've been quiet. What about your family, you married? Two years ago, my wife was killed by a plastic surgeon in Ecuador. I found him on Yelp. I gave him two stars. Her breasts looked amazing during the open casket. So I was married. <clears throat> did you recapture any of those feelings from when you were a kid in Mr. Johnson's restaurant? You know, I did. It really felt good feeding the people and making them smile. So yeah, it was pretty much the same. What do you say we make it exactly the same? How do you mean? What the hell? I was in over my head financially. But why my place? No one will suspect a successful restaurateur of arson, Stan. And it's spreading to mine right now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. You just, you just need to calm down, OK? Yeah, OK. Just relax. If you ever need any help with the boat, no. well, I'd be happy to. Guns are a great tool for keeping things from escalating out of control. Now then, about this outfit disagreement. You're gonna dress my way. Nice and easy. See, this works. No talking. Let's hit the marina. I just got mugged. Who wants pizza? I, I wish you guys hadn't left the restaurant so fast. I wanted to introduce you to the actors from my play. That's who I was sitting with. Actors? Then why were you taking a family photo with them? Oh, that? A family of actors, Haley. Family of actors. Have you never heard of the Barrymores? The Baldwins, the Olsons, the Fondas, the Estevez slash Sheens, the Gabors, the Redgraves, the Beatty McLeans, the Arquettes? Roger! The Quades, the Batemans, the Culkins, the Cusacks, the Afflecks? Roger! The Wayans, the Douglases, the Bridges, the Dillons. The Zimbalists. Okay, I cheated on you. Whoa! A complimentary bucket of Coronas? Sarah must be super important. Hey, let's order huge Sundays from room service and just pig out! Oh, no sweets for Pete. I have stage two diabetes. In fact... <gasps> Really? Sometimes I wonder where Oh, come on, Stan. You really think this is going to keep me from leaving? Who I am? Do I 
fit in. Movie I've seen probably 250. Make believe in. It's hard alone. I mean, it's such a beautiful day outside. Out here on my own. We're always proving. This plan has more twists and turns than Lombard Street. You know, from San Francisco. Ah! Yeah, I've been there. Now, Roger, you'll be posing as a waiter. A waiter? Cliché. No, I'll be Ernest Schlumpel, Aton's long-lost great-uncle. When the Nazis annexed Alsace-Lorraine in 1940, Ernest fled to Mykonos, where he invented a kosher lubricant that tastes like whitefish salad, but... You're playing a waiter. But I've been developing my Alsace-Lorraine-Mykonos accent. You're not doing an accent. Oh, yeah? Ah, you son of a bitch, you know I'm not a fighter. But seriously, I, I want to do what the greats do when they get celebrated. I want a roast. Roger, do you even know what a roast is? Of course I do. I was a member of the Friars Club in the 60s. I drove Phyllis Diller to two of her first three abortions. She must have such regret never getting her driver's license. Ah, oh, I can't stay mad at you. Come on, there's something I've wanted to do since I first laid eyes on you. Get those bangs off your face. I'm taking this home with me. Maybe it's Haley. Haley? No, it's Roger. Roger, can I call you back? You don't have to. I'm right next to you. You didn't see me setting all this stuff up? Now we're in the same scene. <laughs> Thanks, Don. I'm done with this. Still broken up about Haley, huh? Well, don't you worry. I'm gonna find her. And bring her back to us? No, I'm gonna find her and steal that $50,000 she took from you. And I promise you, I'm gonna spend it all on myself at Burt Longhorn's Western Wear Depot. Look at me. Stan. Stan. Look at me. That's a promise. Observation deck, please. All right, I got everything we need. Chocolate milk, cheese puffs, and some Turkish amphetamines I scored in the bathroom. Whoa, whoa, Legs, you sure that's a good idea? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. See? Everything in moderation. Now I'm gonna have five cheese puffs, no more. Legs, please, just, just pull over. Why are you calling me Legs? Is there something wrong with my legs? Is that, why, is that why there's a wheelchair in the car? What did you do to my legs, you Nazi walrus bastard? Steve, who is he talking to? Shut up, Garfield. Why, 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 do, you, why do you hate Mondays? You don't even work. <laughs> ah, good God, there's a cockroach in my salad. <gasps> I'm terribly sorry. Wait a second. This is a food restaurant. We don't serve salad. Well, it came from your kitchen. Roger. Uh, uh, don't, don't worry, everybody. It's fine. Don't eat here. There's a clean restaurant next door. If that's really from our kitchen, then you can eat the plate. Delicious! <laughs> wow. This hotel is amazing! Only the best for my good friend. the friendly locals. Hola! Stan, put my brooches in the room safe. Stan, you don't have to worry. I fixed everything. What's going on? I let the prisoners out. You what? Yeah, Francine was right. A shark's not very intimidating behind glass, but if you're in the ocean with it... But Roger, they're going to kill us all! And chop off my head! Scary, right? Ah, uh, I never think things through. Be safe in space. That we know. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Uh, uh, oh yes. <laughs>